Hello and welcome to another video tutorial brought to you by tutvid.com. This video tutorial is all about the basics of using the Adobe Bridge. Now the first thing you're going to need to know about the Adobe Bridge is the Adobe Bridge is a brand new application. Um, it started shipping with CS2. Uh, you get it with the entire Creative Suite or it also comes with any standalone CS2 application you buy. That means if you buy Photoshop alone, Illustrator alone, InDesign alone, Go Live alone, any of those programs, um, any of the CS2 programs for that matter, so it's not just limited to those four. Um, basically what the bridge is is a file browsing and file organization piece of software. It's an absolutely superb tool. It does a great job. Um, I personally love it. It is designed to streamline your workflow using all the different Adobe applications. It is going to turn into your central hub basically of all of your files, your files are going to be there, all of your stuff is going to be organized in the bridge and you can quickly get the files you have in the bridge out and use them in whatever Adobe program you're using. Um, basically the bridge has been designed to replace the file browser included with Photoshop CS if you remember that um, file browser was great the problem with it was you could only use it with Photoshop and it was so popular that everybody wanted it for all of the Adobe programs Illustrator, Go Live, etc 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 so Adobe created the bridge which is great I love it um, and I actually have a whole video just devoted to why you should use the bridge and it has a bunch of tips and things in there as well just in case you need to be convinced further so first thing we're going to look at here I'm gonna start this out from the point of view of somebody who's never used bridge before so we are going to begin by opening bridge up and as you can see I already have bridge open here but just like any other program to open bridge just find the shortcut and double click it but Bridge also has another interesting way you can open it. And I'm going to flip over to Photoshop here. And if you will look, and this is in all of the Creative Suite programs, right up here on the toolbar, there's this folder with that shell in the middle of it, as well as a little magnifying glass. If you click that, it opens up the bridge. Okay? That's a very nice feature when you're working. You want to quickly get to the bridge to grab files or whatever. Very nice thing. Okay, so we're going to open the bridge up when you open the bridge for the first time you're going to be presented with this page called bridge center it's like the central hub of bridge here you see you've got all these different options I'm gonna have an entire tutorial on just the bridge center um, so if you want to learn more about it you can go watch that tutorial now first thing I'm gonna notice about the bridge is it's laid out much differently than Windows file browser but it still has a bit in common as far as the way it works but it has a lot more of its own features. It's got a lot more you can do with it than Windows File Browser. First thing we might notice is that Bridge utilizes this pane system to lay out everything. Everything's laid out in these panes and you can move these panes around as you wish by moving the mouse over the divider bars and clicking and dragging and as you can see I'm extending my favorites panel here as well as my preview, my metadata and keywords panel because they're all kind of docked together like this. You can also give panes more or less room by, extend, by extending the divider bars in between those panes as well. You can access that little dragging option by simply moving the mouse over that divider bar and you'll see your cursor will change to this double arrow. Click and drag that up or down or right or left depending on which way you want to move that. Or if you want to get these out of the way quickly you can just click this little double arrow down here in the bottom left hand corner and it just hides all of those panes really quickly and to get them back you just click it again so it's a very simple way you can sort of edit your layout um, and make some changes give yourself some more space get your stuff back whatever you want to do it's up to you okay the first thing we're going to look at here is basic file browsing here within the bridge. I mean, what's the sense of using the bridge if you don't even know how to find the files you're looking for? Bridge gives us several ways to locate our files. The first of which I'm going to show you is using the folders tab here. Right next to favorites, you're going to see there's a tab called folders. Click that and basically what it's going to do is give you a list of all the folders in your hard drive just like you could find under Windows browser. 
So I can come into here and I can hit plus my computer and it shows me all my drives and all of my folders and everything. So I'm going to come in here and I will just go to Q. And this is going to open up this Q folder where I've got some pictures of this floor. And the advantage here to folders is you can navigate to anywhere on your hard drive here and the files are displayed here in Bridge. And I can now take these files and drag them into Photoshop or whatever I like. But the way I like to use Bridge for the most part is through my Favorites tab. And here you can see under my Favorites tab I have the default favorites, which you can edit by the way. And I also have a bunch of my own preset favorites. So I'm going to come in here to this Video Files folder. And these are the files we're going to be working with in this video. These are all sorts of different files we have here. Now let's say I take this picture of this dog here. I'm going to right click on it and hit Add to Favorites. Now a favorite is basically a one click to open whatever section. Okay, You can put programs in your favorites. You can put folders. You can put files. You can put anything you want and just one click will open it. Like for instance this JPEG will open it right up in Photoshop. So that's very helpful when you have a file you're going to use a lot when you have a folder you're going to be accessing a lot, when you have programs you use a lot. Um, and files that you use a lot might be something like a template you use if you make a lot of, let's say, business cards. If you've got a business card template you start with, you can put that in there and just double click it. It'll open it up in your program and you can just go to work right away. Now, I don't want to keep this JPEG image here in my favorites, so I'm going to right click on it and hit remove from favorites and it's going to take it right out of there. And another way we can find files is by clicking this drop down menu and going up to desktop and navigating our hard drive this way. When we come up to desktop, we can see we're going to get our desktop and everything that's on our desktop, and we can just click through files just as if we're using Windows File Browser. So that's another very easy way to find what you're looking for and browse through your files. Now, when you do actually find your files, you're going to want to check them out and use them eventually at some point. Um, so let's take a quick look at previewing files here in Bridge. Bridge is really phenomenal when it comes to giving you previews. You have all these different types of images here. I've got InDesign images, I've got PDFs, I've got PSDs, I've got raw, camera raw files, um, I've got video files, I have you know, .avi and .mov files, both video files. I've got Illustrator files, everything here. And all of these images, this JPEG, it gives me this preview here. This camera raw file, I get a preview. This PSD, I get a preview. The .ai file, I get a preview. The PDF, I get a preview. The InDesign file, I get a preview. You get previews for all these files over here in the preview panel. And one quick thing I want to show you about the preview, preview panel is if it is not big enough for you, you can drag it up and out to extend and make your preview bigger. All right. So I've got the dog image, I've got the money image, the beach image, that's a PSD, that's a camera raw, that's a PSD, .ai file, even movie files. Here I've got a .mov file, even here. And the cool thing about movie files is you can play them, you can skip them ahead or whatever. And the same thing with sound files. There's an MP3, I can play that if I like. So Bridge is really great when it comes to showing you what you've got before you actually open it. Now, when we find what we want, for instance, I may want this picture of this rooster or this chicken here, and I want to use it in a program. So I can get this into Photoshop or Illustrator, whatever program I want to use, in a variety of ways. The easiest way is simply dragging and dropping it. Now I'm going to drag it off screen and drop it into Photoshop because Photoshop is minimized in my toolbar at the bottom of my screen. And when I drag this, you can see I'm clicking and dragging now. It comes up as a semi-opaque image. I'm going to drag this down onto the Photoshop minimized tab down on my toolbar. And you're going to see it's going to maximize Photoshop. I just move my cursor up and drop it into Photoshop. And it's going to open that image up for me in Photoshop. So it's just that easy to get images or documents or whatever into whatever program you're using, be it Photoshop or Illustrator or whatever. The other way to get images into a document is by right-clicking. You can just hit open and that just opens it with your default 
image editor, which in this case would do Photoshop. But if I don't want to open it with Photoshop, if I say I want to open it in Mozilla Thunderbird or Picture Viewer QuickTime or Flash or Image Ready or even Go Live, I can open it in any of these programs here that it gives me in this little open with menu. So that's a very helpful thing. Last thing we're going to look at is some of the options for organizing your stuff here within Bridge. Some of the basic stuff. Number one, up here in the top left, creating a new folder. It's just as easy as pressing create new folder. It comes up, you give it a name. I'm going to say new folder. And that's it, you've created a new folder. You can hit delete to delete it, or I'm going to create a new folder again. Another way to delete your files here, if it lets me create a new folder, there we go. Create a new folder, just hit the trash can. Delete item, it's going to ask you if you want to delete it. Make sure you want to send a new folder to the recycle bin. I'm going to hit OK, and it's gone. Another really cool thing about Bridge is when you select images and you're going through some of your images, let's say this image is not rotated the way I want it. It is, but let's say it's not. You have these two rotate 90 degrees counterclockwise or 90 degrees clockwise images, or buttons, excuse me, and with them you can rotate your image clockwise or counterclockwise 90 degrees, just like that. So it's that easy. You can rotate your images, you can get rid of images, and you can organize stuff pretty easily within Bridge. But this is really just the tip of the iceberg. There's so much you can do in Bridge, and Bridge is such a great program. Um, we're going to get into it more depth in other video tutorials. But for this one, I hope it's kind of given you a foothold into Bridge and kind of jump-started you into using Bridge more and more. Hope you learned something. I hope you enjoyed it. And I hope you go check the site out. The site is www.tutvid.com. Dot com. Thanks for watching.